Zillow just announced that they had almost a half a billion dollars worth of loss. With a B. I actually look at this as a massive, massive opportunity. Last week, there was a pretty big announcement coming out from Zillow. The end of their iBuying program. Over the weekend, I thought that the news would die down, but it turns out I've stepped into the new work week. We've both stepped into the new work week in mid. All sorts of other news outlets still talking about Zillow. So Jason and I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to kind of share with you all our thoughts on what this announcement from Zillow means for agents, people who want to become agents, and kind of the future of the industry in general. And full disclaimer, this isn't like a, you should hate Zillow or you should love Zillow or Zillow's right or wrong. This isn't one of those videos. But what this is, is it's a very true kind of story of where Zillow has brought us and how this impacts us, but every agent. So our average first year agent sells about, it's 16.7 homes their first year. So we're gonna say 17 homes. And if you actually look at the numbers, which we have, typically a first year agent, those, those homes, those sales, those clients they're working with, between 95 and 100% come from Zillow. Absolutely, and the one key point here is that while Zillow may represent such a large part of the agent's business in their first year, the goal of the team, and for Jason and myself, is to give our agents the tools and skills to take those closed business, right, from year one, and leverage it into business repeat and referral business for years two, three, and more. So now to get to what does the announcement mean for agents and folks who are thinking about becoming agents. So the first thing that I wanna point out is that I actually look at this as a massive, massive opportunity. And understanding that Zillow has a, about a half a billion dollars worth of loss that they need to make up, my gut says that Zillow is going to return to their bread and butter. What made them successful when they started? Truth be told, it's buyer leads, right? So how does this announcement potentially impact you? Mine putting a lot of eggs in the basket that says that Zillow is going to lean in heavily to their best flex partners, us, by feeding us more and more leads and opportunities for agents who want to grow their business, who have the skills and who have the motivation and the desire to help more consumers. As one of my favorite mentors, Tom Ferry, said time and time again, the streets are paved with gold. And I think that that's gonna remain true for all of 2022. I think there's a ton of opportunity for anybody out there who wants to either increase their existing business within the real estate space, or for anybody who's thinking about jumping into the real estate space, it's not too late. If you're ready to take over 2022 and make it a life-changing year for yourself and your family, let's have a cup of coffee. Reach out, don't be scared, right? Absolutely confidential to boot. See you guys soon.